Do not repay. Is this easy? In Romans chapter 12, verse 17 and 19, Apostle Paul, he wrote to his brothers and he said in verse 17, Repay no one evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. <clears throat> Sorry. And in verse 19, Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. I will repay, says the Lord. Imagine, please, someone at work goes around to slander your name. And he doesn't talk to you, but goes around and speaks a very bad lie. He spreads a very bad lie about your person, but was never true. Something what never even came into your mind, what you hate, something what you hate, he is mentioning about you. People start to avoid you <clears throat> for no reason. Some even start hating you and threaten you for no reason, only for a lie. And it takes a while until you discover what happened, but you are shocked. And now you are getting angry. <clears throat> After about two or three months, people also from outside, around in the town where you are living, they heard the slander about you. But there was one friend and he came to you to tell you what happened. How would you react as a Christian? What helps is a very important truth about the source of every lie. And we find this truth in the letter of Apostle Paul <clears throat> to the Ephesians in chapter 6, a very famous verse. But I ask you, please, if you have your Bible at hand, open your Bible and read with me Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. There it is written, Sorry, I had my German Bible at hand, that's the wrong one. Ephesians, give you a little bit more time. Chapter 6, verse 12. Apostle Paul wrote, <clears throat> and this is very important for us, Always to make sure you keep in mind what is the source of all lies, who is the source. For we are not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. The spiritual hosts of wickedness. The devil and his helpers are the true enemies. People around us are victims of their lies. They don't have to, but they are mostly. Why did I say they don't have to? People don't have to be victims of Satan and of the demons spreading lies. No. 
and hear a short story. Why most people are victims of the devil's lies. A man died in fellowship with Christ, loyal to God. And he woke up to, in heaven, received everything, all the blessings for what he has done in fellowship with Christ while he was living on earth. And he asked God one question. He said, Father, God, please tell me one thing. Why did you allow the devil to do so much evil to me? Why didn't you stop him? And God said, for real, my son or my daughter, the devil is your biggest enemy and he was your biggest enemy on earth. But he did not do so much. All he did was, he went around and was spreading lies about your person. And the people around you, at your job, in school, in your neighborhood, they all were believing lies and they did all the bad and evil to you. But they didn't have to. But they did, because most of them didn't even try to figure out the truth about your person. And this was necessary for me to bring a righteous judgment over them all. Because they showed what they had in their hearts when they threatened you like they did. So my friend, the message is give slander no chance. But let's come back, please, to the truth about the source of all evil. <clears throat> the devil and his helpers are the true enemies. People around us are often victims of their lies and God will judge them right in, righteous, in righteousness. There's another, another, a second step if we get slandered or we are under high pressure because the devil is fighting against us and people are spreading and believing lies about our person. There's the next important step is to keep ourselves in God's love is to ask ourselves one question. How and why did Jesus Christ react to the betraying of Satan through Judas? How and why did Jesus Christ react? Let us please open the Bible in First Peter chapter 21 till 23 and first peter chapter 2 is one of the most encouraging chapters of the bible what i think if you are under high pressure it's a great reminder that god is watching over you because you belong to god But now we'll find in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 21 to 23 a perfect example how to please God the Father if we are suffering slander or anything else. 1 Peter 2 verse 21 For this you have been called because Christ also suffered for you leaving you an example that you should follow his steps he committed no sin 
No guilt was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But he trusted to him who judges justly. And this is one of the most important parts. So not even by words Jesus Christ repaid his enemies. Why? Because he knew behind all these lies and all this hate is the devil. He knew he is not fighting against flesh and blood. And the second thing we read what helped him. He knew his father is watching him and he will be proud of him if he stays loyal. He trusted to him, says the letter of Peter, chapter 2, verse 23. He trusted to him who judges justly. God the Father is always watching and moving things. You can rest assured he rejoices if he sees a heart that beats for him. But why did Jesus, and this is, we are coming closer to the most important truth about God now. Why did Jesus Christ not just kill Satan if he is stronger on power? As a, or why was the devil not just killed at the beginning of the world, in the beginning when he messed everything up by God the Father? The answer now is important. If we are in a situation close to that, what I described to the beginning, if Jesus Christ would have killed the devil, listen to this please, if Jesus Christ would have killed the devil, or God the Father would have killed the devil in the beginning. Only one fact would have been proven in front of all angels in heaven and all creation, creation on earth. Only one fact. Only the fact that God the Father and Jesus Christ the Son are stronger than the devil. Only this would have been proven in front of all angels. But not the most important truth. Jesus Christ said according to John. Chapter 18. Verse 37, he was standing next to Pilate, a Roman, Roman uh, leader, and it is written in John 18, verse 37, Pilate said to him, so you are a king? Jesus answered, you say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I have come into the world, to be a witness to the truth. <clears throat> Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? So Jesus Christ said, For this I have come into the world, to be a witness of the truth, to the truth. I got a question for you. In which situation is the truth necessary? The most important situation or the most important time you need the truth is if you are in front of a judgment and someone 
spread lies about you. Only where a lie is, someone needs to come to witness the truth. The very first lie we can find and it was spread by the devil in the beginning and we can find the report of the Bible in Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 and 4 the very first lie and this is the reason why Jesus Christ bear witness to the truth and we will figure out what's the most important truth about God now Satan the Bible says now the serpent was more subtle than any other wild creature than the Lord God had made he said to the woman so Satan said to the woman did God say you shall not eat of any tree of the garden with other words are you serious did you really say that and now in verse 4 but the serpent so Satan said to the woman you will not die Bam! the first lie with these words the devil said Eve, come on, did he say that really? I tell you what, he lied to you, you will not die. He doesn't really love you, he just doesn't want that you are independent and have a good life. You will not die, God, he lied. With this lie, Satan said with other words, God doesn't love you. This is the first lie and Jesus Christ came on earth to be a witness to the truth that God the Father our Creator is love and we find this truth about God in John 3 verse 16 and this is what the what Satan hates to hear he hates it at most and this is why we want to read it again because this is the most important truth about our God, our Creator, our Heavenly Father. John 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world. Hallelujah. If the devil would have been killed and destroyed straight away in the beginning when he messed up with his lie, God's creation, only one thing would have been proven. Only the thing that the fact that God the Father and Jesus Christ are stronger than him, but never the fact that God is love, and never the fact would have been proven that Satan is a liar. It took time, patience, and the biggest act of love in front of all creation in heaven and on earth that Jesus Christ died for our sins so that God took the value of Christ's blood to cover all of our sins to give us what Adam lost and what Satan took from humankind eternal hope for eternal life And if we are in a situation that we get slandered, never ever will violence or if 
we repay by ourselves, help us to show the world who is right and who is wrong. It will maybe only show other people who were stronger physically, but never the truth. And this is what we can learn from God our Father and from Jesus Christ. And here's another side. To slander a name is called defamation of a character and can be punished with even two years prison. Satan will be put into the pit locked for a thousand years very soon says the scripture after this he will be released for a reason for a short time and then he will be destroyed forever he will be put into the second death the hell fire forever so that he never ever can harm someone anymore and never ever can betray humankind anymore and he deserves that because he is a crazy killer but we we can see clearly God is love we can see the truth because of Jesus Christ's service for humankind on earth and of God's the Father's patience with us. We can see God is love. Hallelujah.